I 31 F kinda got ghosted by my husband 33 meters. I'm in a really horrible situation and I have no idea what to do right now. I'm very new to Reddit and just needed advice so sorry in advance for the format and the length this is very long. I'm probably gonna get flamed for this but while you're at it, at least give me advice on how to proceed. My husband and I have been together for 8 years and married for 6. We have a son together 4 meters and have been in a very happy and fulfilling relationship, until about 6 months ago. I started an affair with my ex from college that lasted about 4 months. I genuinely had no intentions of cheating and thought of it as just catching up with an old friend when he reached out to me. I don't even know why I did it or why I let it go on for so long. So yeah, it lasted for 4 months and we were regularly having s time both at mine and my husband's home, my app's home, and hotels whenever his place was unavailable. And yes, he is married with 3 kids. During this time I became increasingly distant from my husband and he began to notice. He is a very smart man and knows whenever something isn't right. Well one night he asked me flat out if I was cheating on him. I d needed of course, but he didn't back down. He told me while looking into my eyes that he knew something was up, but that he was going to let this go because he had no proof. However, he said if he found out down the road that I had lied to him, we would be done, no questions asked. I took that threat very seriously and immediately ended it with the AP. He reluctantly agreed to end it and I devoted myself to being the best wife and mother I possibly could. I felt very guilty of how I had neglected my husband and started initiating ITER course more, doing things in bed I normally wouldn't do, helping more around the house, and with our kid. My husband was very cold to me in the beginning, but things went back to normal after a while. One day my AP contacted me again via Facebook. I told him in no uncertain terms that we were done, but he said he wanted us to meet one last time. I foolishly agreed to this and we decided to meet up at a hotel two hours from where I live. I wanted to experience this one last time before calling it quits for good. As you can guess already, this didn't go according to plan. After AP and I were done with the deed, I received a short text from my husband that read, I know where you, who you are with, and what you are doing. We are done. Don't bother coming back home. I've transferred half of our savings into your checking account. Have a good life. I can't describe the wave of emotions I felt at that moment. I tried calling him and texting him, but he had me blocked on everything. He eventually unblocked my phone number but said it was only to deal with our son. Everything else was going to be through his lawyer. I've never been more depressed in my life than I was when this happened. I decided to go home the next day, but he wasn't there. Neither was our son. Whenever I texted him he would only respond if I asked about my son. He sent me a text saying we would each have our son for a week and nothing else. I couldn't talk to his side of the family cause they all had me blocked and my family was very disappointed in me. My best friend is the only person I could talk to. I had literally no contact with my husband for a whole week and when I did it was to inform me that his brother would be bringing our son over to me for my week of custody. This was the most painful period of my life. How could he be so cruel and indifferent? Aren't we supposed to talk about things like this? I know I probably deserve it, but he never even gave me the chance to apologize or explain. The guilt I have and the way he is treating me are literally driving me insane. I feel like he never even loved me if he can be this emotionless. I'm not even asking him to take me back, just to talk, yell at me, anything. Doesn't he want some form of closure at least? This brings me to today. I got served divorce papers and I literally can't believe he'd go this far without even having as much as a talk. Yes, I shouldn't have cheated but I can't help but feel like his reaction is very childish. I haven't even read the papers or hired a lawyer. Things just can't end this way. I sent him a text telling him that I would contest this divorce even if it leaves us in financial ruin. So my question to all you strangers is what should I do? I'm really lost right now and I can't even function. I can't believe my whole life is about to end and I'm not even being given the chance to fix it. Should I contact the police since I don't know where he is and he changed the locks to our house? Any advice will be appreciated. TLDR, I cheated on my husband, and now he won't talk to me and want a divorce. What do I do to win him back? 
Story 2. My ex-girlfriend passed her family barely contacts me that she had a baby. There's no doubt her son is 100% mine because we had a paternity test just to be sure. Anyways I 27 meters barely found this out weeks ago. Only reason we broke up is because I had to move back across the country last year to help my family after my dad died from COVID. Didn't want to do the long distance since I was gonna stay there working for a bit. She never told me anything. Her mom says she didn't want me to worry about her all the way over there when my dad's family needed me more and she was gonna tell me as soon as I was back. I moved back like a month ago only now I'm finding out not only that I lost her they said there was complications when she gave birth but we have a baby boy. Feeling a mix of stuff and worst part is I can't talk to her about because I wish she'd told me. Her mom says they've barely been managing with him. They need help with him and so that's why she reached out to me once they learned I was back. Of course Hess mine that's my responsibility. Still it's hard not to panic. I'm still in shock about her death. Now I've got a son I need to take care of. Didn't even get to be part of the first two months of his life. My family doesn't know about him yet. Hell I still haven't met him yet her mom's only sent me pics has beautiful. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm scared, sad and pissed off for some reason. I'm nervous as duck about meeting him or how this is gonna go. Her parents will be around to help but I know hell be with me full time for the most part. Really any advice I'll really appreciate. From new parents or anyone honestly. What the hell do I do about all these new changes? All the info and advice you guys gave in my original post meant a lot to me so thanks for that. Some of you wanted an update. What can I say, s it's been chaotic. Finally met my son and that was just a truckload of emotions hitting me all at once. Wasn't expecting it. My ex's mom had to take him for a minute because I was literally sobbing. It wasn't because I didn't want to be his dad or anything. It's one of those moments where everything hits you at once and only thing you can do is cry. She understood it though and she cried with me. She's a sweet lady. One of those ladies that treats everyone like her child because of how caring she is. My son has my ex's nose and the shape of her eyes. That's what hit me more. Just because we broke up for the meantime while I was at my dad's didn't mean I stopped being in love with her. And now we have a baby together only she won't get to be here to share that family experience and I miss her so much. Got to hold my son, introduce myself to him. Me and her mom talked about the custody stuff already got a lawyer for that to make the process easier so everyone's on the same page. They let me stay over, talked more about my ex, had a few beers with her dad. I stayed at their house a few days because honestly I was still terrified of being left alone with my son because I had no clue what the hell to do with him. They were both really kind and patient about showing me how to change his diapers, feedings, how to give him a bath, rock him to sleep, how to install the dom ducking car seat in my car without throwing it on the floor. Her parents were nice enough to let me spend the night so every time he woke up it'd be there either to watch her how she does everything then I started doing it. Hess been with me almost two weeks at my place. Got mostly all his stuff with me. Looking for a two bedroom but for now Hess sleeping in his bassinet in my room. It's been really hard. Especially the first night I probably called her mom like five times within two hours because he would not stop crying. Then his pediatrician because I'm freaking out something might be wrong with him. Calming him down whenever he got fussy was my weak spot. Nothing I tried was working. Singing to him seemed to help a lot, walking around my apartment and rocking him non-stop. It's still not easy, at least now I'm feeling more confident that I can handle the crying and not freak out enough to call for help. Taking time off from work again so I'm here with him full time. I'm tired, stressed, still got a lot going on emotionally. But I'm also just happy when I'm holding him or making him smile. Honestly the little stuff he does even his cute little sneezes makes me love him even more. Seems like he's starting to like me too. Almost everyone in my family has met him on Zoom, my mom's come over to see him. She's offering to do babysitting once I go back to work in another few months so that's one less thing to worry about. I just wish my dad would have had the chance to meet him, I know they would have been best friends and had definitely spoil my son so much. And it's like my ex knew that too. 
so didn't know this until her parents gave me his birth certificate but my ex wanted his middle name to be my dad so that was a nice surprise for me. That Hess got his grandpa's name too. Him slowly adjusting to this new life. Not easy, he makes it worth it. I want to be his dad and give him the best I can the way my dad did with me.